<clears throat> Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just a um, new video here on uh, Lumen Technologies. Uh, this used to be uh, CenturyLink. Um, I kind of forgot about CenturyLink. I was looking up something and come across this and uh, forgot all about them. Uh, but this is another uh, technology play. Uh, here's a look at what they've uh, done over the past year, so down over 19%, so there's a little bit of room to grow on this one. Over the uh, past three months, down over 23%. The last month, down over uh, 16%. Um, that's kind of interesting. Just a huge drop there earlier in the month. And as you can see, it came back down and... I missed the uh, dip this morning, but it looks like it might be on the way back up, so we'll just have to wait and see. It's in the green here in the past week, uh, up over 3%. And here's a look at today, so not too bad. Um, but, it, of course, I didn't find it until it was in here somewhere. And um, But there is a d definite good dip by, but this is Luminum Technologies, ticker L-U-M-N. And here's a look at uh, what they do. So their uh, investment uh, holding company engages in the provision of integrated communications of residential and business customers. And feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there. Um, but you'll like what I got uh, here to show you on this one. It's got a fat dividend. Uh, that's what she said. Founded in uh, 1930 and volume of 8.01 million and an average of 28.01 million. Market cap of $10.41 billion, 52-week uh, low, which almost there this morning at 9.31. High of 15.45, so this has uh, room to grow about 50% um, or close to doubling, so we'll just have to wait and see. Not the greatest of ratings on it, currently at a hold, and, well, it's a tie between a hold and a sell. So we're probably just trying to figure this one out, and uh, here's their next earnings expected on uh, May 4th. Um, I have uh, quite a few shares of uh, AT&T. Again, I missed the dip buy on that one. It was in the low 23s. I bought some for 22 and change, I think, yesterday. But it's had a nice run-up, and something's going on with Verizon. It's up over 54, so... It didn't drop uh, the last two, three days like AT&T did, and then it's run up, so I wonder if AT&T's running up in regards to uh, Verizon. So, if you know uh, why, just leave that in the comments as well. Over here on Microsoft Bing, currently showing it as a hold with a one-year price target of $10.45. Here's some more about uh, Lumen Technologies. company is a member of the S&P 500 and the uh, Fortune 500. And why Lumen Technologies is a good choice for investors after the new price target of $10.45. So again, this is on the 18th. Well, actually, this is from the 22nd, but it traded on the 18th, uh, posting a 1.64 gain on the session to 9.94. So since this is older, we're just going to kind of skim through this and see if there's anything that uh, stands out, um, but continues to track a distributed uh, denial of services around the world and today the company released a report that details the statistics and trends as seen in the fourth quarter and the full year of 2021. Market cap for Lumen reached 10.01 billion with 1.06 billion shares outstanding. Here's what uh, gurus are saying about uh, Lumen Technologies, L-U-M-N, and we'll go over some more ratings here. And the, uh, later in the video, here's how the uh, stock performed. Uh, we kind of already went over that as well. So we'll move on here. Lumen Technologies is on the fall. This is dated on the uh, 23rd. Traded at 970 on the last check on Wednesday. And so again, since this is a little bit past and some stocks have went up since then, I'm just going to scroll through this one. Uh, those of you that would like to read it. Estimates uh, by analysts uh, give the company expected earnings uh, per share or EPS of uh, 53 cents with EPS growth for the year raised at $1.93 for 2021 and $1.58 for the next year. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see how this one does. Uh, this is the part that I like. Uh, Lumen Technologies declares a quarterly cash dividend 
and it's a nice fat one. That's why I like uh, AT&T as well, so you can say what you want about AT&T in the comments. So today they announced, and this is just dated to yesterday, that the uh, Board of Directors to declare a regular quarterly cash dividend of $0.25, cents, so that would give you a dollar uh, per year. The dividend is payable Friday, March 18th to shareholders of record at the close of business on Tuesday, March 8th. So you still have time to get in on that ex-dividend date before uh, March 7th. So if you get in on those dates, you'll get a nice payout here on the 18th, depending on how many uh, shares you uh, purchase. So it's currently at $10.19. We'll just call it um, $10. So if this gives you a dollar per year, it'd be a couple shares that you'd need and have it on drip and then you just have another share and then it just keeps snowballing from there. So, And if you want to do the math, you can do that on your own time. I'm not going to do that here on the uh, channel, but just making a example. Uh, with approximately 450,000 route uh, fiber miles and serving customers in more than 60 countries, we deliver the fastest, most secure platform for applications and data to help businesses, government, and communities deliver amazing experiences. For more uh, news, you can go to news.lumen.com. Lumen named a leader in the 2022 Agarter um, Gartner Quadrant uh, for Network Services Global, and this is dated here today. So they've been a leader in the February 2022 Gartner Magic Quadrant for Network uh, Services Global. This is the second consecutive year Lumen has been uh, positioned in the uh, leader's quadrant. The uh, report evaluated the uh, network service providers of their ability to execute and their completeness of vision. We believe uh, being recognized again as a leader in the Magic Quadrant reaffirms that a customer first approach is the right way to help prioritize our investments and development roadmap. I would agree. So, Over here on Reddit, once again a huge bargain for value investors, 10% um, dividend yield. Yes, please may have another, so which is actually higher than um, AT&T. I think it's 8.0 something. Over here on StockTwits, currently at $10.12 with a low of $11.09, high of $15.45. 46,000 a day keeps the 9 to 5 away for a limited time. We're opening our chat. Increase disclosure from short sellers. Get paid to wait. Over here on uh, MSN Money, currently showing it as a hold. And a hold here on uh, tip rank. So the reason I would get into this one is the uh, dividend. I would uh, put in an order here at the 971. Um, or else you can put in a couple different orders and put one in for 10. See what happens. It's just what you, what you want to put into it and get out of it. So, uh, But again, it is a fat dividend at 10.28. And so it's got me thinking. Um, why not try 5, 10 shares to see what happens. And if it fills, it fills. If not, try another day. So, uh, But here you can see what it's done over the last week. It's been under the $10 for quite some time and just had a nice run up here in the last day or two. Um, actually, as I showed you down below, all uh, communications, AT&T, Verizon, are all doing that for some reason. We'll have to figure out. But a lot of things went down and a lot of are coming back up today and that's always good on a Friday. So... But if you have any of this one, go ahead and list it in the uh, comments, or AT&T, or uh, T-Mobile, T-M-U-S, or Verizon, VZ, or any other uh, telecommunications out there, you can list in the comments. And if there's any other videos you want me to make about any stocks, just leave the uh, ticker. And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing, and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money, Falling Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.